Hey everyone, Jack here. Have you seen Squid Game? It's the new Netflix series that is breaking the internet, literally in some cases. It may become the most popular Netflix series produced yet. So let's talk about it. In case you haven't seen it yet, let me introduce the story for you. In Korea, some people who are in a lot of financial trouble learn about a mysterious competition that promises to solve all their problems with a huge cash prize. At first, everything seems straightforward. The place is spooky and very secretive, but the competition is based on simple kids' games. How hard can that be? However, once the games begin, we are shocked to discover that the losers don't go home. They go to, shall we say, heaven. At first, when I heard about it, I thought, hey, this isn't new. Isn't this just Battle Royal? Battle Royale. Or maybe The Hunger Games. And actually, yes, it kind of is. The writer and director, Huang Dongyao, got a lot of inspiration from Battle Royale. He first wrote the script in 2008 or 2009, and he spent 10 years trying to find a studio to produce it. That's a dedication. It's lucky that Netflix just recently decided to invest $500 million in Korean entertainment. So why has Squid Game become so popular? Yes, in a way, I think it is because it's become one of those series that you have to watch it to know what's going on. You don't want to be that person, right, who hasn't seen the series that everyone is talking about. But I think it also hits a nerve with a lot of people in modern societies. It's clearly about social inequality much like The Hunger Games. But The Hunger Games is set in the future in what we would call a dystopia, whereas Squid Game is set in present-day Korea. Countries like Korea have experienced massive transformation over the last few hundred years. As Western countries started spreading their influence more and more, the financial opportunities were clear. The West was hungry for trade with Asia, and they were more than happy to bring over their industrial technologies. And then, of course, there was the impact of international war, which tells countries, we can't just keep to ourselves. We have to interact with the wider world. Korea, of course, went through further war and division. South Korea has recovered in a remarkable way since then. However, recently, South Korea has been facing some of the negative side effects that go along with a modern, westernized society. And this is where we arrive at Squid Game. According to the director, Mr. Huang, Korea is suffering under capitalism right now. Capitalism is also what we call the free market. Anyone is welcome to enter the market and compete. It means that companies are privately owned, not state owned. The advantages of capitalism are that it encourages invention, better products, lower prices, and strong economies. The main disadvantage to capitalism is that it measures success by profitability. At its worst, capitalism is basically a kind of battle royale. Korea, of course, is not the only country that is experiencing some of the negative sides of capitalism. In fact, most of the modern world is heavily influenced by capitalism, whether the country is officially capitalist or not. And so that's why Squid Game hits a nerve. Whether it's Korea, the United States, Taiwan, many countries around the world are becoming more and more of an M-shaped society. We used to have happy and successful middle classes, but give capitalism enough time and it can tend to make the separation between the winners and losers more visible. So what's the answer? Well, maybe Squid Game's main character, Song Gi-hun, can give us some hints. Gi-hun is lucky, and he's definitely not perfect, but at least he has a heart. Some people say that the answer to capitalism is compassionate capitalism. Others say we need a totally different system. What do you think? No, really, I want to hear your thoughts. And if you've already seen the series, let us know what you thought about it in the comments section. Well, that's long enough for this video. I'll see you guys next time.